Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm going to be walking you through in this video is a brand new feature into Schoology and what it is is actually the ability to create and maintain portfolios both as a teacher and as a student. Um, this is fairly new so if you are on a school account make sure that your administrator has enabled it. Uh, if you're at my school this is enabled for everyone already so you should be able to go in and create these immediately if you would like. What you're going to do is go ahead and click on your account name once you're logged into Schoology. What that's going to do is it's going to pull up a information about you page. It's also your blog, so you can actually compose a blog post directly in here if you would like. Now, teachers have access to blogs, students do as well, so they can create their own blog directly within Schoology. Now, the new feature though is right here, and that's the portfolios. So now students and teachers will be able to create their own portfolios within Schoology itself. So as you get here, uh, it's going to be walking you through a basic tutorial of how to create your portfolio. I would recommend that you go through it, um, but what you're going to see is you can give a title and a basic description about your portfolio, and then you can actually just start adding things directly into it. You can add pages, links, files that you have access to, or this is the one that kind of takes the cake, which is an assignment submission. So your students can go in, they can select a course that they've taken, they can add a submission. Uh, so let's see if I have one available that I've submitted. Uh, the problem of being an administrator is I actually don't. Um, so, but what they can do is they so can select an activity that they've done in your course and go ahead and add that directly into their electronic portfolio. Uh, within Schoology itself. If you have any questions about this, um, I think this is a great tool to be using as we move forward um, and develop ePortfolios. Uh, feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions or want more information about getting started um, or reach out to any of the integrators and they will be able to answer your questions as well. Thanks for tuning in.